Hello, hello, everybody. <laughs> Let me know if you can see and hear me okay before I start talking. <laughs> Hey, Sassy, looking beautiful and sounding amazing. Oh, thank you, Janine. Guys, happy Sassy Tuesday. Yes, today is Tuesday. And your girl is tired. <laughs> your girl is tired, okay? I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. Um, this one, this past week has just been a little bit rough. I'll explain a little bit in just a moment. Um, why it's rough because some of you don't know, and I am not ashamed to share um, this information, but your girl has been tired. Therefore, I didn't finish all my homework because your girl has been seriously distracted. But we'll be working on it tonight. Um, we'll be working on Field Full of Dreams, and I'm taking you guys along with me. For the ride okay guys let me tell you something <laughs> we need to talk yeah, yeah we need to talk you guys help your girl get over a thousand subscribers i don't don't applaud me applaud yourself because you guys were amazing and I want to thank each and every one of you for making this milestone just ugh, a dream, a dream come true for me. Like I said, I was be I was gonna be happy with three hundred, and then you know three is my favorite number, and so is seven. Seven is a number of completion. So that 300 was my initial goal. And then to add the 700 to get the 1,000, I just honestly believe it's nothing but a blessing. So let me go ahead and get in the chat so we can go ahead and get started working because your girl got work to do, okay? <laughs> um, let's see, who is in the chat? I have, as y'all can see, I was messing with my um, settings. I didn't know what I was going to do. But then I remembered, no, it's five from when I'm live and I'm doing it through Streamlabs. <laughs> and then it's going to be like 10 when I'm doing it a, a different format. Yeah, because we don't want what happened last time to happen again. <laughs> we have Tina in the chat. Hey, Kara, thank you so much. She says congratulations on a thousand. We have my mod day in the house. We have Miss Teresa Lynch in the house. And girl, I'm so sorry if I missed you. I know you guys were coming this way, and I am so so sorry that we didn't get a chance to get together. Um, Zandra is in the house. Um, let's see who else is in the house. We have Day and Tina talking to one another. Beverly is in the house. Hey, hun. Um, we have Miss Janine. Janine says she is working on her temperature quilt. Awesome. And let's see who else. Who else? Candace is in the house. Hello, hello, hello. We have Miss Donna in the house. Everybody saying our squirrel queen has arrived. <laughs> yes, Christine is in the house. Judy is in the house. Well, woo, you guys are blessing me on tonight. Hello, Miss Tessa is in the Tessa house. Tessa is in the house. <laughs> but Tessa, her last name is house too. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, I think that's all we have in the house. And thank you guys so much for speaking and talking to everyone. Um, yeah, this week has been hard. This week, your girl has been struggling with a little bit of I'm not gonna say it was so much. Well, yeah, the first day was depression. Um, on April 13th, our daughter would have been, yes, I said would have been, um, 20 years old, and you know that's a big number for an a young person. Just like the 18th birthday is just the same as the 20th birthday for me. Um, she passed away when she was 11 years old. She's forever 11. And I missed her. I miss her every single day. But I didn't think it was going to, because I knew it hit me really hard last year. But 
I really didn't think that it was going to be as bad this year because I had considered what I, you know, was going to keep myself really, really busy. Well, it did not work. <laughs> it didn't work for me. So I spent a lot of time just, you know, I couldn't control my emotions. So my husband, him not really, no, wait, I'm not going to say he didn't know how to help me. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that he didn't know what to do. So what he did was, baby, let's go, let's go outside. Let's get to work. So we started working on my garden and that did help ease some of, you know, the pain because at that point in time I can take it out on the dirt. And then when it got so bad, I was like, look, I just need to let, give me my meds. Let's, let's see if we can get this under control because, you know, it got to a point. He was like, do we need to go to the hospital? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Peggy. Peggy. Is that you, Peggy? Hey, Nancy. Because I'm missing the uh, Peggy, and I'm like, I hadn't seen her in a minute. And I don't know if she changed her name. So, yeah, your girl has been a little bit down, and I am trying to come up out of it. April, May, both are very hard. She was born in April. She passed away in May. And then my firstborn son also passed away in May. They passed away 10 years apart, but two days apart kind of thing. So, yeah, your girl's going to be going through some stuff. But I am going to try my best to keep myself busy and focused on the things down here in this studio. Now, it did not work. As you can see, so we're gonna go ahead and get started because I got a lot to tell you guys, okay? So I did complete. Let me, I can at least show you one of the blocks. I am making a queen, a queen size whoop, table. This is the block. Very, very easy. And we'll be working on these blocks. Let me just set this right here. Because I got too much stuff over my area. <laughs> too much stuff. The pattern that we're working on that I will be talking about most of the night is Field Full of Dreams by Pleasant Valley Creations. The link is in the description box. Very easy, very beginner friendly. Um, depending on what size, I have a dedicated video just for this. So you can go ahead and I should have linked that. I should have linked that video. I will after this live. So mods, please remind me to do so. Um, that video, so you'll have all the information on what you need for fabric requirements. Okay. So let's see. Um, guess who, Nancy? Bless your heart, prayers. Thank you, thank you, um, Nancy, for the prayers. Yes, prayers, I will take them. I will take them. LOL, I've had this name for 20 plus years. LOL. <laughs> no, because you the name, the name changed, and I wanted to make sure. Or wait a minute, no, did you? No, you had a thing, you have another name. <laughs> No, a channel name. <laughs> if I might have the wrong Peggy, but if you're the new a new Peggy, I'm happy. <laughs> so, um, before I get uh, started, I wanted to let you guys know that for remember my homework, I, my goal was to have 15 blocks done. Well, I have 15 of the centers done and 15 of the left side so i am working on the right side i just have to take one of my five inch squares marry it with one of the sashing and that's all we're doing let me get my uh <laughs> no need to turn that iron on right now because i'm gonna wait until they're all sewn together um 
before I press them. So tell me guys, I know Janine is working on her temperature quilt. And in fact, I just got that all caught up on yesterday. I think yesterday was my first day back in this studio. <laughs> so. I had to play some ketchup. And it's all good. I, I have to learn that I don't want to say homework anymore. So I'm going to let you guys keep me held accountable for that. And don't say homework. Because when I do that, that puts a lot of pressure on myself. And I'm the one who's telling it. You know, I'm the one who's saying it. And that is, that's, that's no good. Because, honey, over on these streets, life be lifing, you know? <laughs> life keep lifing over here. And I am like, Stephanie, you, then I feel horrible that I can't keep up. You know, I, the same old song or dance. Didn't I say this a couple months back? So this channel is going to be known for Grab Your Projects. If you happen to be working on a project that I mentioned, grab it come on let's sew it all together but i am your chill pill okay that is what i'm gonna call myself you know regard myself as for you guys your chill pill so when we come when you guys come grab your drink hopefully a soft drink or some water especially if you get in the heat <laughs> that we're getting um grab your water or in my case, a Pepsi. Um, if you do anything stronger, do you, boo, just be safe. Grab that project and come on and let's get the sewing. I had to make sure that I was not about to sew my sash and piece on wrong. Hi, Tammy. Hey, Deb. So yeah, so I am your chill pill. So we are just sitting and sewing, enjoying ourselves on Tuesday night. Now I will be doing impromptu lives, more impromptus because I have projects and stuff that I want to complete and things that I need to do. And I can't do it all on a Tuesday night. Um, I did purchase a camera for my long arm and unfortunately it did not work out. So I sent it back today. I did order another one, which I think that will work so much better. And um, so we will see. The long arm, um, I don't think, because that one does not allow me to do a live with it, this camera that's coming. So those um, will be videos. And I can't wait to bring you guys in on those things, especially because I want to start working on the Angela Walters. And I want to share the information that, you know, yes, it's free. And yes, she talked about it. But I think it'll be so cool for you guys to work on it side by side with someone, um, especially if you already missed, like in my case, already missed the challenge. So I am just sewing all a thousand of these. That's what it feel like. It feel like it's a whole whole bunch, <laughs> a whole bunch of these five inch squares to the little sashing piece. I just gotta line it up. Oh, and if you did watch that video, I kept saying. Oh, it's easy. There is nothing to line up. Well, it's nothing to line up within the block itself. But when you go to piece these blocks together, you will be, there will be some lining up, but not nothing that, um, that's really, really intense because I think you can do it if you flip these seams. 
I don't know. We'll see when we get to piecing it together. So I'm re I, I'm taking that back right now. I'm correcting myself right now to say that um, you will have some matching to do, but it's not within the block. Hi, Joy T. Hey, Denise. Thank you. Thank you. All of these prints for these five inch um, squares were from Cultured Expressions. And her charm packs or five inch square packs, there are no repeating fabrics in them. So I like that. But I ended up having to buy four packs. And that doesn't mean that it might not be in another pack. So she did try her best to make sure that I had um, different ones. So I'm, I'm just happy that of the effort that she put in to make sure that I did not have the same one. Hey, Angel Honey. Okay, that was that set. And let me go ahead and cut because I have to keep in mind how I'm doing this <laughs> before I screw something up. So, yeah, as I just mentioned a little bit ago, You guys know your girl hit that 1,000 mark, right? Right. So, and I've been talking about this giveaway for ever, right? So I've been waiting from you for for YouTube to tell me, congratulations, you just made a thousand subscribers. You know, you think I got that? Mm -mm. I did not get that email yet however because my numbers right now are pretty strong i went ahead and put the form in don't don't you do this don't get you there <laughs> <laughs> the link to the form is in the description box below don't go to it now unless you you're going to from another device so you can still hear and see me <laughs> Don't do it now. What's on the line? What is on the line, guys? It's on the line. The prize is an Aliso M3 Pro Iron. I'm super excited. I think you guys are going to love it. It's a coral color. And I am so, so happy. So happy. So, so happy that um we reached this milestone and i wanted to give back to you guys i wanted to be a blessing to one of you like you guys have been for me the giveaway now i didn't put the giveaway um instructions in the in the box because technically i honestly i should not say technically honestly i just put that information in the box i will update it um again mods please remind me to do so it is open until next week um before i go live i will be picking a number during that time so you have technically a week to get your form completed and I will make a short to remind people to do so. So, yeah. Somebody's going to want that pretty iron. <laughs> Someone is going to want that pretty iron. Yes. She said, thank you for sharing that information. She'll look her up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you think your channel name change may have confused the YouTube folks? Okay, wait a minute. Mm 
my YouTube name. Um, yes, M3 Pro Mini, Mini guys, it's the Mini Iron. Um, do I think it changed? Denise, are you talking to me, or are you talking to Peggy? I hope my YouTube name didn't change. Well, because I don't think so, because they knew me as Sassy Steph. And the reason, again, that I changed the name is because um, I am offering long arm services now. I had not um, been as vocal about it here on my channel, but I am, will start making sure I plug myself. I am not good at marketing for myself. I'm not. Um, I've done long arm quilting for others. I, I know two people in the chat, um, Donna and Angel. And I also know they have seen my work and I believe Janina's also have seen my work. I think I do, I think I do dang on good, especially when it comes to computerized and I'm getting more bolder in my free motion. So I will be offering that, um, not this year, mm -mm. custom quilting, not this year. I want to get, I want to get more um, confident about that, but I am offering, um, long arm quilting for my uh, members and customers period so i need to start putting that out there because i mean this is what i want this is what i'm doing it for and i just needed to um make sure that this is going to be a place where i can house that information But I hope it didn't um, confuse people because the actually the name part, just the title changed. But if you search for me on YouTube or any of my social media platforms, it's still at Memoirs of a Long Arm Coulter. I'm always going to be Memoirs. Always. Because I, I'm telling you guys my story as of what I'm doing. It's like a, my diary. You guys are my diary. That's why um, I want you guys to feel that you can come here and chill. And you know, it's like writing in your diary. You know, I'm, I'm that, I want to be that spot for you guys where you can just come in and feel like you're, you know, someone with your, your girlfriend, you know. Okay, you know what? I did have a um uh, 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 something here to you know block these blocks from coming um falling down. I'll be talking about this in just a little bit. So um yeah, cause me and these blocks falling down this hole. Yes, yeah, not getting it. <laughs> not getting it. It's not happening. Hey, Katie, long time no see. Hey, Sean. Thank you guys for all coming in. Oh, you guys are coming on in. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see who else. I hope I didn't miss anyone else. Okay. Guys, yes. Um, so with that, I wanted to share with you a couple of things that's coming up in the future that you will be seeing me do some shorts. More shorts on is like, um, updates on what I'm working on or, you know, things that's coming within the week. Um, I will definitely be sharing with you um, information about upcoming projects. I did mention a little bit earlier, I wanted to, you know, get some more cross stitching in because I miss that. Yeah, I used, I used to use cross stitch as a way to unwind at night. But, hunty, things have changed a lot since my husband has retired. <laughs> he, 
and there is no unwinding shucks i'm like man look because he is trying to catch up on conversations you know things that he missed when he was working and sometimes it's just like we talk until we fall asleep on each other <laughs> so it's like dang Look, wait a minute, I gotta got look at this. Look at this fabric. I am so tempted to keep this one for myself. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. But I think I need to take a picture of it. Take a picture of it and contact Lisa because I need some yardage of this. This is the only fabric that I've seen so far that I'm like, I need. No, it's two of them, actually, that I need some yardage. I don't even know what I'm going to use for a backing for these quilts. It's, it's going to be a 108. So if they don't have an African 108, guess what? It's going to be a plain one. <laughs> it's going to be a plain one. <laughs> they got a sheet. Have you guys ever used sheet for a backing of a quilt? I have not. But I know people who has. And they, I mean, they swear by them. And I'm like... How do you do that? Because I'm worried about the um I'm worried about, you know, like the thread count difference kind of thing. You know, if it, especially if it was wove too tight, do you use like a 200 or 300 or, you know, a, a higher count thread um thread count for it? I don't know. I, I I've never done that. That's something that's new to me. So I want you guys, if you've done it, let me know. How does that work for you? And do you wash it? I'm just curious. Because, you know, I don't want to do all this work and then put a sheet on it, quilted, a sheet, quilted with a sheet as a backing and all my, you know, get puckered like crazy. You know what I mean? That would be fun. <laughs> what are you working on, says Katie. Katie, I am working on a quilt pattern called Feel Full of Dreams. This beautiful pattern right here. The link for this pattern is in the description box. But this is a quilt block of it. It's the same block. In this case, I'm making a queen size quilt. Let me just let you sit right here for a second. No, actually, I'm put you right here. In my case, I am making a queen size. Nope, I gotta add the other one. So I need 30 of these blocks. So I am working on the 30 blocks. And what I'm doing right now is th th making the right side of the block. And I just chain piece, just made the row, and I'm just taking them up and then chain piece in these projects, these babies together. And then what I do is put them back in line so I can grab them again. Open it and flip it. Keeping the sashing piece on top because that's the side I'm gonna iron to.
And by me chain piecing, you know, I save on thread and I also save on, you know, once I do this, all of my blocks will be done. Instead of doing like one at a time, one block at a time, I'm able to move through these this process a lot quicker by just, you know, chain piecing. So the giveaway is open again. Again, the giveaway is open and it is the M M3 Pro Mini Alyssa Iron. Um, it is the color coral. And I am super excited to be giving one away to one of you lucky guys. Now, um, YouTube has this thing where you can be subscribed to someone blindly. Well, not blindly. You can hide your subscription to channels. I disagree with that with them doing that, but I understand it as well. I think that especially for giveaways and stuff like that, you would want the person to be subscribed to you. There's no way other than me saying you have to be subscribed to me. And I can look at my lifetime list of subscribers and see that if your name is on that list or not. But the thing is, there are people, like I said, there are people who are subscribed, but they chose to have their subscription part in, you know, in private. I think it should be, um, if you're, subs any, it should be anybody outside of who you're subscribed to, they can't see it. Because you can see who's subscribed to a person, I think. I think I don't want to. I don't want to mistake that. I know that I thought you there was a way to look to see who uh, who's who other people are subscribed to. Or other people subscribers, but my my thing about that is the fact that I can't um, control or see who's all subscribed or not. So if I'm going to open up this giveaway, I need to make sure that I'm opening up this giveaway to um I'm sorry. I need to make sure that I'm opening up this. It's going to have to be open to everybody, even though somebody who say that they're subscribed or not, because I, I don't have a way of proving that they are subscribed or not if their subscriptions are private. Hey, Janice, I'm doing well. Busy time of the year for teachers. Yes, it's the end of year. Ooh, girl, I, I'm thinking about you. I'm praying for all you teachers especially if you're a teacher like in the state of north carolina you have the end of um you have a class that has the end of um eog end of grade testing i hated those tests i'm glad that my daughter no longer has to take those tests well i don't know if they stop in high school or not but when she got into high school i thought it was because it was a private school that they didn't do the EOGs, but maybe it is high school. I don't know, but she don't got to do them. <laughs> and I'm happy about that. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm looking at the chat. Very pretty, Stephanie. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. They're saying you they like what the quilt that I showed so far. Um, I like that neutral background. The colors and African prints are so vibrant and needs something neutral to balance it 
absolutely, Janice, absolutely. Because you, you got to give your eyes something, a place to rest. And as I stated before, I was always afraid to do work with African um, prints because I'm like, they don't, they're not going to match. <laughs> I can't find nothing to match, but I am giving all that up and throwing all that to the wind because I just think that, you know, these fabrics are just gorgeous. And I just want to make sure that I at least give myself, I think that it's also, it gives me the opportunity to just to say, eh, you know, that you can do this. You can do this. So I'm excited about it. I am super excited. I'm excited about the process of me letting go, letting go of that control. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, you're giving away an iron. Yes, I am, Katie. I For reaching a thousand subscribers, I am giving away the M3 Pro Mini Alyssa Iron. So one lucky winner is going to um, win that iron. There is a form in my description box. Don't go there now. <laughs> go there after the video. And you have until next week, Tuesday, to get that um, form completed. Um, do, 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 do. Stephanie, are you going to QuiltCon next year? I want to meet my famous YouTube friends. Oh, Tammy, you are so sweet. No. <laughs> no, I hate that I'm not going. However, I will be going in 2026 when they're back on the East Coast. <laughs> no, QuiltCon for me is a... every other year kind of thing not that it's like because you can control what you spend and all that kind of stuff you can control that i i didn't have i know i took three hundred dollars with me to spend i had a budget and i was going to stick to it I spent, I came home with a hundred and I think for a hundred and forty dollars. So you, you can control yourself at CoolCon. And I think that was easy for me to control. Well, uh, easy. I don't know about all easy, but um you can control yourself and and i think my problem was i was expecting i remember when i went to like a sewing expo here that they had in riley now this was prior to covid or little c word and people had things like hugely discounted so when I spent the same amount of money, I was coming home with bags, bags of stuff. Now, since this inflation and all this kind of stuff, it, that, that same dollar don't stretch the way it used to. So it is yeah so no it has to be a every other year thing for me because yeah they they try to they try to snatch your girl pockets you know fabric is high key food is high 
the hotel we stayed at wanted seventeen dollars for one piece of avocado toast. I don't even eat avocado, okay? One piece of avocado toast. That better been some good toast. You hear me? For all you avocado e eaters out there. You better been telling me that was the best piece of avocado toast you've ever had in your life. Because $17 for a slice of toast. I was like, <laughs> we didn't stay there. <laughs> we was at the wrong hotel. <laughs> I mean, at the wrong restaurant. And we saw that we were like, nah, we ended up going to Cheesecake Factory. At least I know what I'm going to be, you know, eating there. But even when we got there, the menu... You know, I was like, dang, I'm, I'm, I'm going to starve tonight or what? Because things still didn't look that appealing. But I did find something to eat. But the, by the time I got it, I couldn't eat it all anyway. So, um, yeah, it's one of those things. But who knows? Who is to say we will meet eventually one day, Miss Tammy? One day. But yeah, you just, quilting has gotten expensive. I mean, because I remember when charm packs was like five and seven dollars. Now nah, these charm packs, these charm packs, what? <laughs> Fifteen ninety five. Hmm. I don't got it like that, y'all. <laughs> I do not have it like that. I'm not gonna want y'all to believe it or try to believe that I do. I don't have it like that. Okay. Maybe when my daughter graduates, I might have a little bit of something like that. I choose to put my money in my animals, you know, into animals and stuff like that. Every once in a while, I'll splurge on quilting and other things, but. <sighs> Quilting has gotten expensive. Yeah, the usual statewide testing, Janice. Yeah, she was talking to Janice. Oh, I missed a lot. I'm talking too much. Yeah, those EOGs. Yes, Tammy Boy. Excellent. I'll definitely go in 2026 here, Sean, but as it's within driving distance. That's Sean about 2026. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Dolores. Hello, Stephanie. I've been watching your YouTube videos for about a month and I enjoy what I've seen. I'm wanting to join one of your sewing sew alongs. Awesome. Come on, girl. Don't let me know which one you want to join because I got a good one coming up for the month of May. Um, let's see. The guys, so I will meet you guys one of these days. That's right. And Katie is saying super cool. I guess she's talking about the iron. I am trying to freehand quilt. It's coming out like something your <laughs> chickens would have done. They probably could have done better. Oh, Zondra, don't say that. I bet you it's coming along great. It's coming along great. Speaking of them little chickens of mine, y'all, I have a broody one. Her name is Mary. She's been trying to go broody for the last week. Broody means she wants to be a mama. She is sitting on the eggs. She's caught. I, you gonna give up them eggs, okay, sis? You you're not about to be a mother on over here. There there will be no eggs hat, hatching over here. So she has been sitting on the eggs, and I go in there and I take the eggs. She has not been happy. So this morning, or, or earlier today, I went to sit, look for her, and she's standing there, and she is just like, she is dying. I think she was, <laughs> I think inwardly she was having an anxiety attack. I didn't know what was wrong with that chicken. <laughs> she was saying, ah. So I thought she was having a... um respiratory so you know i'm freaking out you know trying to say well my chicken about to die you know all that kind of stuff i didn't know what was wrong with her i took her little pecker off she wasn't one of the ones anyway that was um pecking folks 
but she will get it again if um put put back on her if she doesn't do well so we took it off i gave her a, a scrambled egg yes i said a scrambled egg filled with um respiratory meds and stuff like that is um vet rx and some some nutri nutra drench and i gave her that medicine and she perked right up perked right up giving benson his biscuit because he knows thank you for taking it nicely um he knows what time it is so i gave her that and she perked right up right but she was just like the end of the world she was neck feathers all up she was clucking she had head down in her chest i'm like what is wrong with you you are a pathetic sight <laughs> i was like girl you are not gonna be a mama no and i want to get some tractor supply bantams for her but i just don't i just she hasn't proven to me. I, well, I don't know how you can prove a chicken is going to be a good mom or not. But she just don't look like the kind that will be a good mom. And that's because maybe she just hasn't been broody enough. She, because when I kick her off, when I get them eggs up from under her, she'll go and get up and go eat and be about her business. Now, Girl, if I go get you some babies and you kill my kill them babies because you, you know, thought you wanted to be a mom or like my daughter found out something was more difficult than what you thought it was going to be, I ain't know we're going to have a problem. <laughs> we're going to have a problem. So she, um, here, after this one, this is it. Come take it nicely. Nice. Thank you. That's it. It's gone. Yeah, so I don't know. She, I don't think she'll be a good mom. So, yeah. But everybody else is doing fine. Mocha is doing much, much better. She is back in with the rest of the rest of the crowd. Yeah, we had to put everybody in those um, pinless peckers because... They were being vicious. They were being, they were attacking my girl. And I was like, no, we can't have that. We can't have that. So my friend um, Stacy and her husband Lucas came over to help me pin them all down. And um, the, well, he caught them and I put the um, pinless pecker on them. Hello, Leanne. Thank you so much for coming, honey. It was easy for me to control myself, too, said Katie. She was there. She came all the way over from the Netherlands to QuiltCon. She didn't spend as much either at QuiltCon. And see, and it's really easy if you want to control it. But getting there, housing, honey, that's where they get you is the dang on hotel, the rates and stuff like that. Oh, they don't care. They just... They make sure that they, I knew they was going to get their money. But I have to admit the hotel that we stayed in was amazing. Janice said she had a budget of a hundred dollars and she came home only spending 80. Awesome. See, you can do it. I was surprised I had that much control, um, self control. Now, considering that did include my meals, and my thing is, if I take cash, that car bet not come out for nothing. But there were places in there. I think like the registration part or something. It was a part that did not. Um, I'm about to say I'm missing. A fabric i'm not oh, look at this one this one is cool i am missing a um i thought i was missing something i think there was only one place i had to pay with my card and that was like up the upfront vendor Ooh, almost 
told that I'm wrong. Okay, so what time is it? Oh, we're getting close. Well, at least I finished all of my, what is this? My right side um, section. I'm going to show you right quick. I'm going to do, I'm going to sew one of the blocks together. Let me get my iron on. I am going to do a um, dedicated video for our next project, and it's the Come On, Get Happy by Sterling Quilt Company. That link for that pattern is in the description. Now, I did find a place where the um, pattern is normally $12, $13, is on sale for $8. So get that link in the description box below. I'm not getting any. Um, anything from it or anything like that i just happened to see that today and i wanted to um, support a small um channel so or small cool shop and they're one of them and that is this um pattern right here come on get happy and it's uh 50 by 66 but i'm making mine a little bit larger it's 12 fat quarters that's needed and two yards of fabric but i'll go through all of that um in that video but this will be our next video um our next project for may you guys will see me talking about um working on project dress a girl i go get my uh, fabric i want to make three dresses so I'll be working on that. I don't know what size, excuse me, I don't know what size dresses that I'll make yet, but I will be making one or three. <laughs> and the next project I want to quickly talk to you guys about, your girl make this project bag, y'all. <laughs> this is when I was learning to make project bags. This is when I used a vinyl, when I thought all vinyl was created equal. It's not, as you can see, it's really, really flimsy, but that's okay. Um, I am doing the, I want to do a cross stitch along, a stitch along with you guys. And it is with this free pattern also linked in below in the description box. It says create every day. It is by Teresa Kogit. Um, I have purchased off of Etsy. I've shown these before in one of my um, stitch videos. I have fab, um, floss by Stitchy Stuff on Etsy, and this is all hand dyed um, floss. And of course, I'm doing a rainbow of colors. So if you want um, to do some cross stitching, we shall, we shall talk, okay? We'll be talking really, really, really soon about this. So go ahead and get your free pattern, get your floss. I have yet to choose my um, fabric that I'm going to use with it. Most likely it'll be a 14 or 16 count Ada. So, yeah, I don't know which one yet, just yet. So those are the things that I got um, coming up. And I wanted to briefly talk with you guys about the class that I had taken on last week, a self-defense class. Um, Katie is saying everything in, is high in world, is high worldwide. Okay, gotcha, which is true, which is true. Um, FYI, cotton as a commodity is going up, so our fabric is going up. That is crazy, says Angel. Angel will know. If you guys don't know who Angel is, she is the, um, she owns Halo Inspirations over in Virginia. I love her quilt shop, guys. You guys love her. 
So if you are in that area, please, please, please make sure you support our smaller quilt shops. And she's online too, so no excuses. <laughs> no excuses. Okay, this is one. I'm going to press two of them and get them ready so we can sew two blocks together tonight before we leave. Um, let's see. Hello, hello. There better be some high grade toast, right? That dang on toast. That avocado better been like by the time you finished <laughs> eating it, you better been feeling some kind of good. You hear me? All oh, your trouble should be melted away. Hey, 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 hey. See, excuse me, y'all. You are so naughty. No, that's not for you. Don't go in there. Get out. Out. Yep, yeah, I knew who it was. Benson. Ah, <sighs> he's such a jerk. Dang dog. <laughs> yes, that was Benson being naughty. He um. I have a bin here with all the chicken med stuff in it. So there are slippers, little, you know, booties that if someone is coming over and want to go inside my chicken coop, I make sure that they have shoe covers, little plastic shoe covers. And he found them and he's trying to tear them apart. Little joker. Yes, that's great. They're talking about the toast. The best part of QuiltCon was the meetups. I do agree. Yes, honey, taxis are and Ubers are way too pricey. Give Mary a wooden egg. I could do that. <laughs> I could do that, but Mary ain't getting no eggs because then she won't get off the nest to eat. I need her to eat. Okay, this is my center. This is the center. These center pieces I had, I had some yard or fat quarters that I had gotten from T Quilts a while ago. And I decided that um, I will be using those fabrics from her as the center, except for this piece here, the top and the bottom piece. This was from a blessing that I received from Miss Jean. I don't know if she's in the chat or not, but honey, I'm using your fabric. <laughs> I want you to see that is not going to waste. Yes, Joy T, I hope we guys, you hope we get to see you in 2026 as well. Someone saying it's bedtime. Good night, Tina. Good thing I have a huge stash, <laughs> says Jamie. <laughs> Yes, I was yelling at Joe Benson. He want, he he already got his treats, a little turkey. <laughs> he is such a little turkey. Okay, that's a center. So this is one of my left. I have to see which hand I'm looking at. My left, this is my left side. And I have to lay it down here. Oh, wait a minute lay it down here because i need to make sure that my people in this case is right side up and then let's set that right there this is how it's going to look so let me go ahead and sew this side right here and then we'll have a block easy Peasy. Oh, and it matches very nicely. Especially when this is so beginner friendly because what happens is you are, will be, you know, matching stuff that's already pre-cut for you if you're using pre-cuts. Now, if you're not using pre-cuts, you made your own pre-cuts like I did for the center. You know, if your cutting was a little bit off, you know, you might be off just a little bit, but not a lot of bit, you know. And then you're sewing like 
everything with you know to a sashing so it is going to be very very easy a easy and quick sew so once you have your center done i'm just going to do this once you have your center done the side pieces go by really really quickly you just make sure you're lining up making sure that you have everything in place now if you're a pinner you can go ahead and pin but because everything is line is lining up well i don't feel the need to do so right now Okay, I'm going to stop and put my end piece together. Oh, it lined up so, so well. There you go. Let me grab this piece right here. There. And what I was looking for was to make ensure, okay, my petal want to run away. is making sure that my sashing strips line up of going across from one another and they do What part of VA is Halo located? I am in PA. She's in Williamsburg, and she did answer. I am originally from South Central PA, but now I'm closer to the Maryland line. Oh, Lord, Benson is still getting in the stuff. Awesome. I was born in Indiana, Pennsylvania. My family is still there, says Halo. Being military, we moved around a ton. Love, Maryland. Beautiful. Are you liking your Juki, Teresa is asking. Yes, I am. There is only one thing that I do not like, and that is, hold on, I'm to make sure that, okay, everything is going to the inside. The only thing that I do not like about my Juki is the fact that the um, needle plate, right before the needle, the um this silver piece is not flush with the bed and by it not by it not being flush it flips your seams that's the only thing other than that i absolutely love it that is the only thing maybe we just get this one done Cause we did to oh i was going to talk to you guys about self def the self-defense class which i had a ball at me and my daughter went um i did meet up with um well i thought it was just going to be one other person from our church <laughs> but it ended up being a quite a few we actually it was a board meeting for the police department that they opened it up for it to be self-defense not that anything had been happening in our area it's just that things have been happening around the world um so we had we they talked about awareness how it's important for all of us and here is a completed block and one will go up and down I don't know if you can see it up and down and the next row the next block will go i'm gonna have this one go up and down and this one will be turned to the side and that's the pattern you have one going up and down and then the center going to the side um, horizontal and then the next one again going back vertical so that's the block.
I see. Though about going to school. Okay, that's okay. She's talking to um, Leanne and Angel are talking. It's important that you are always when you're out and about that you remain aware of your surroundings. Um, meaning, don't be on your cell phone when you're out and about when you're walking out outside of your vehicle. And try not to always be alone when you're out and about. So let's talk about when you're alone. When you're out and about, have your phone in your hand. If you have to talk to somebody, have them on speakerphone. Does that mean everybody's going to listen to your conversation? Well, out in the parking lot, who cares? You're outside. Have that on speakerphone. That way you're not like this. You're like this. It's easier to look and check your surroundings. Um, knowing that you're going to the grocery store. Let's use the grocery store for an example. You know, not every time you can't get to a parking space up close. Sometimes you have to park a little ways. Sometimes you even have to go in the night. You want to make sure that your vehicle is parked in a well-lit area. Yes, Stephanie, that thing is common sense. But a lot of times we don't think we just, especially if you're on the phone or especially in a hurry, you're just going to park your car and you're going to go. We can't afford to do that no more. We don't have that luxury of that safety net that we think that we have. My husband a couple of weeks ago was approached by a gentleman talking about he had his cell phone trying to sell him insurance through his cell phone. He didn't even look like an insurance agent. My husband had to tell him to go, you know, go, no, go. And, you know, my, he had to get like, ugh, with it before the guy back off. But see, he had a partner. You have to be aware. If anybody approach you, you make sure you make some, you know, noise or whatever. Women, it's important. There, Not all of us are fit to carry a handgun. I'm not going to say fit, comfortable enough to carry a handgun. Don't carry a handgun. Don't carry nothing you're not comfortable with. But you, what you don't carry is nothing. Train, teach yourself, YouTube, whatever, pepper spray. A knife, a small pocket knife. Do I even have mine with me? I'm already take, taking it out of my pocket. I usually have it down here with me, but I think I left it on the bed. I have my pepper spray. I don't go outside the house without it. Small thing of pepper spray. I like POM, P-O-M, pepper spray. Um, <clears throat> learn how to use it because the worst thing you want to do is spray your own dang on self in the face, okay? <laughs> Have something to protect yourself, okay? Um, what else did they teach us to do? Even if it's a key, they have keychains with um, protective items on it. Even they have a little stun gun, um, taser, all those things can help you if you don't want to carry a uh, um, concealed carry weapon. So do yourself a favor. Park well-lit area. They want us to, you know, they taught us that, you know, places to strike in the event someone comes up on us, um, like, you know, very sensitive, and, you know, you know, if it's a guy, you know, the crotch area, but you know what? If you can't reach back there, something going on with your arms because you're trying to go, they have eyeballs. Grab for them eyeballs. Grab for that lip. Grab for the nostril. Try to yank it off their face. You know what I'm saying? Those things, they, they, um, t um, we're talking about those things, just keeping us safe. You know, definitely, if you're in a group, have a cold word. If something don't go right and you don't want everybody, you know, to know what's going on, you guys make up a code word and you know that that is a code word, that something is not right. We need to pay, pay attention. 
and we need to get ready to bounce. Don't do things that you would not normally do, even if you were, if you like carrying, don't go in a sketchy neighborhood. You wouldn't go in a sketchy neighborhood if you didn't have a weapon. You know what I'm saying? Don't put yourself in harm's way, in other words. <clears throat> so I want to make sure that you, I shared all that information with you. I learned some other things. I have to get my notes. I forgot to bring them down here with me. When I, if I think of some other things, I would definitely be sharing those things with you. But yeah, you need to make sure you are safe. iPhones are programmed to alert 911 if you squeeze the lock button and volume button at the same time. Absolutely, Finn. When I worked as a correction officer, they taught us anything I can become a weapon. Absolutely. You got your phone in your hand. Crack that suck up against their nose. <laughs> Hit them in the eye. Do something with what, what you don't do is just don't do nothing, okay? I mean, because, you know, that thing that we have is called fight or flight. Honey, that's going to kick in. And I'm hoping you're going to fight for your life. If they, plan, if they plan on doing you harm anyway, the chances of them doing you harm right then and there out in a public, in a parking lot is probably slim to none. So you fight with everything you've got. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share those things with you. I had a great time. I will be doing another one where it will, where it will be hands on. And um, definitely, if you guys, like, I walk with a cane, guess what? It's also a weapon because we're going to swing it, okay? So they, um, they'll be teaching me and my daughter, because she's coming along too, um, those kind of self-awareness. Just be aware of your surroundings. So, guys. That is it. Yep, down fighting. That's right. You got to go down swinging, y'all. Go down swinging. Let me look at my notes. I want to make sure that I did um, talk to you guys about everything. Make sure, make sure, make sure. Now you guys can go ahead and fill out that form. It will um, let me know that um, you guys submitted um, a form request to enter into the giveaway and then you guys will be select given a number and all that kind of good stuff and i get to choose one lucky winner on next week tuesday so guys until then i will see you in a live like i said i'll be doing some impromptu lives coming up see you in a live or in someone else's chat until the next time you see me guys have a wonderful night be blessed bye